I love to bring people into this building. You bring them up the stairs, up into the upper floor here, and you can just see the wow factor. People really respond to the bright, uh, spacious, um, you know, really vibrant uh, workplace. So our building here at 30 Research Way really supports the fundamental goals and aspirations of the university. We have a document called Focus Monash, and in that it describes that we need to tackle the big challenges of the world. Climate change, energy efficiency, carbon emissions are all part of that, and this building is contributing by reducing um, its impact on the environment. I think it's a great example of an um, adaptive reuse project. Um, where an old warehouse was um, stripped down and um, the bones of the building were able to be reused and revitalised and you're able to see that as you walk through the building. The passive house principles incorporate creating a very airtight envelope, a thermally insulated envelope and then bringing in lots of fresh air with heat recovery into the building. The building has double glazed thermally broken windows, it has very thick insulation around it and it has an airtight layer within the inner layer of the building that stops the ingress of unwanted air into the space. The view to the outside world through the, the high use of glass, the sawtooth roof, really I think is a real differentiator for this building. My favourite feature, um, it'd have to be the solar panels. <laughs> I love the idea that this building can run completely off the grid when we're getting that wonderful Australian sunshine shining. So winning the Grand Gown Awards is a great opportunity for us to showcase the lessons learned and to inspire our peers to perhaps adopt things like the Passive House Principles to improve their buildings going forward.